Right, we got a call to this um, compressor. Um, it's a Copeland ZB26, I think. Was it a ZB21? Um, complaint was they um, it was tripping the breaker after um, the electricity board had done some upgrades to their power supply external to the farm so it was the supply side of the meter rather than you know their own, own wiring um, and it, it just wouldn't start as soon as you put power to it it would um, knock the breaker out and the earth leakage strip would go out as well um, and we've megged it it's, it's not got an earth fault on there but um, when we tested it on site the um, motor winding resistances didn't add up so we've got let me go 1.35 so 1.35 1.36 between um, common and run and then we've got Two point three two between common and start, which should give us somewhere around um, three point six eight between the two, because um, effectively you've got one winding between a run and common, and another winding um, between start and common. So you're measuring this distance from here to here and then from there to there and that they should roughly add up um, and what we were getting on site that's 3.2 and it roughly adds up to 3.68 um, I mean they're never a hundred percent spot on because your leads aren't um, necessarily a good connection on there but what we were getting on site when we tested it was this reading wasn't too stable it was some um, you know ranging about up and down a bit on, on all, all of these um, when we tested the new compressor they all wanded up nicely like you know textbook like you would expect um, what we said we'd do is cut this open and see if we can see what had gone wrong with it. Um, whatever had happened seemed to have happened quickly because it hadn't had time to short out. Um, it's, it's not got an earth fault on it at all. We can we can test that if we put it on. Um, on here, if we can do this, we've got one lead on there and one on the uh, discharge connection. See how we're going to manage this. It's warning us we've got a thousand volts on there, and that is one point eight two giga ohms. So there's nothing wrong with that. Winding's being shorted out to the case at all. Well, that's the oil that's come out of there. It doesn't look too bad. Um, it looks like it's had um, some fluorescent dye in the system at some time in the past. Um, there's a paper in there. Um, mechanically, um, it looks very good. There's no wear on these parts really. Um, in there. Scroll looks very good. Top scroll looks good. 
when these really wear you see a little ridge on this this bit here and I can't really feel anything there with my finger now it's just discoloration so I mean that also looks like this got like the factory marks on there maybe so mechanically um, it's looking good Turn that over by hand, easy as anything. So uh, it doesn't look like it's a mechanical failure. Right, we've got the uh, that bit cut out now. That's got the um, that's not the main bearing really. Most of the loading is took on that, and that don't. Don't look too bad. Um, it's a job to see the sun's going down here. Uh, but I've seen uh, I've seen much worse than that. The windings don't look too bad. I mean a lot of this is, is dust from the grinder. That's your um, oil pump, that spiral. That's your little oil hole there for the top bearing. It does look like there's a molten blob or something in there. Um, down the bottom, so that might point to um, something having gone wrong with the windings, so something dripped out of it. It doesn't look like it should be in there anyway. Um, I don't think it's come in from us cutting it open, but uh, let's see if we can cut around here, get the bottom piece off and have a look. Right, well that's the um, little blob we saw sat in the sump. Um, that bit snapped off as soon as I picked it up. Um, although this bit seems quite quite tough, it's slightly flexible. Um, it's a bit like sort of um, tar or something like that, cold tar. Um, I couldn't see anything really wrong with the windings, but when we have another close look, uh, there's that blob that actually looks like it's actually stuck in behind the um, strings there on the winding. So I'm wondering whether something's gone wrong in that in the windings to go down that that gap in the um, stator and. Uh, this stuff has dripped out the bottom. And whether it just, whatever's happened in there has happened really quickly. Um, and I can't really see any discoloration or anything else in there. The rest of them seem okay. I don't know. So I, want, I don't know if that's. Um, I wouldn't have thought there'd be something they put in in there in the manufacturer, um, especially if it's going to drip out. Um, let's go on the floor now. Especially if it's going to drip blobs out like that. I mean, that could easily get in the bottom there and stop the block the oil way up. It was just luck it was sat on here. Um, so it doesn't look like it's something that's come through the suction because it's stuck in behind the um, strings there. These are still pretty tight. So I don't know. I've never seen anything like that before 
in one of these that I've cut open. I've done quite a few of them. Certainly never seen any blobs in the bottom of the sump. Um, so it just looks like maybe it's had, to, had a short or something in this bundle of wires that went through there. 